Six underrated ways that you can use AI tools to boost your next upload that nobody else is using. I literally just uploaded my latest video about eye contact correction. So now let's optimize it using AI, starting with a really simple hack. Many YouTubers don't realize that adding accurate captions to all of your videos not only makes them more watchable for more people, but it also increases your chances of being found via search. Essentially, if your content has an accurate text transcript, it can help the algorithm recommend your content to the right people. Now, you might be thinking, well, doesn't YouTube add automatic subtitles for each video anyway? And yes, that might be true, but the fact of the matter is, they're just not very good. They're normally full of mistakes, which makes them hard to follow. So let's just fix them with AI. Inside my YouTube dashboard, I'll click on subtitles over on the left-hand side. Then I'll open up the auto captions by hitting this option over on the right. And as you can see, it's a bit of a mess in here. There's barely any punctuation. It's misheard certain words and phrases. Is. So all I'm going to do is copy all of the text, head over to ChatGPT and ask the AI to proofread and spell check this text for punctuation and spelling without adding any extra words and I'll paste the text into there hit enter and it will now write out a brand new version of the transcript with better spelling, with better punctuation. It's got capital letters, full stops. So I can now just copy this text, delete the auto subtitles from my upload and paste the new ones in. And YouTube then adds the timings automatically. It's simple, but when it comes to getting found via search results, nothing is more important than your video title and description. A lot of creators now use ChatGPT to write an automatic YouTube description, but there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. The mistake that most people make is by going straight in with a prompt like, write me a YouTube video description for a video about AI eye correction optimized for YouTube search, which as you can see, will work in terms of writing it in the correct style. It even guesses at some videos video chapters and more on that later on. But because ChatGPT doesn't know what the full context of the video is, it also doesn't know what the best keywords are. So instead, I do it like this. Using a tool like TubeBuddy or vidIQ, I write down a list of the best possible keywords based on my video. Then I use ChatGPT to generate a YouTube video description, including these keywords. And there we go. We already know that the keywords are optimized for search and the AI has just written a description around them. And because we've given ChatGPT some more context in the form of those tags, it now writes much better about the topic as a whole. But there is also a potential shortcut using vidIQ. Once you've downloaded the plugin, you can access vidIQ directly within your YouTube dashboard. And if you go straight down to your video description, you can select the AI description generator. And all you have to do now is type in some of your keywords and it will generate some example descriptions based on those. It also has a very similar tool for generating titles as well, but it gets even better. By opening up the main vidIQ page and clicking on the AI coach at the top of the screen, you can see that it actually has its own built-in ChatGPT style chatbot, which you can use specifically to generate video ideas, generate descriptions, and generate video titles. So now let's put it to the test. I've just put the exact same prompt into vidIQ and ChatGPT4, asking them to generate some clickable titles for this video. And the results are actually pretty good. They've given a lot of usable ideas. In fact, there's really not much difference between the two. But it is worth bearing in mind that with titles and descriptions, it's always good to have a bit of human input as well. I always read through the AI results and make some changes for myself because your personal knowledge really makes a difference. But another thing I'd rather not do myself is add chapters. Video chapters can be a great way to engage your viewers. They can also appear in Google search results if you optimize them correctly. And instantchapters.com does exactly what it says on the tin. Just paste in your video URL, click on generate chapters, and in just a minute, it will give you some suggestions to add straight into your video description. If you want more or less, you can just move this slider, then just copy them over and add them to your video. And what I tend to do with my chapters is just make sure that a few of the chapter headings have some keywords in. Again, it might just help you appear in the search results on Google. But there is another step for your titles and descriptions that the vast majority of creators miss. And by not doing this super simple step, you are potentially missing out on thousands of new viewers. If you head over to your channel analytics and select the audience tab, you can see exactly where your audience is watching from around the world. So why not provide localized titles and descriptions for these viewers as well? For example, most of my recent viewers are from India, so they might be searching for videos in their native languages. If I go back to the subtitles page of my new video, hit add language, I can then choose Hindi from the drop down menu and under title and description, 
description, hit add. And if you're using the paid version of vidIQ or TubeBuddy, you can translate your title and description automatically, but you can also use ChatGPT to do the same job for free. Then just paste your translations into YouTube and hit publish. And doing this for all of your older videos as well will seriously boost your channel reach. Now, after every upload, you need to be asking yourself, what's next for my channel? Usually, if I've just uploaded a longer video, then I start to think about how I could repurpose that content into a YouTube short. And once again, AI can generate shorts ideas based on your existing videos automatically. I've already mentioned TubeBuddy as an SEO tool, but they recently added this cool piece of AI called Suggested Shorts, which essentially looks for spikes in your audience retention and suggests how your longer videos could be repurposed as a YouTube short. So there's no need to record a new video from scratch. You can just scroll through all of the options and by clicking on one, you can see the suggestion in the video. Then you just need to remove that section using your editing software and change it to the right shape. Now, if you want to learn about the very best AI tools that you can use in your editing process from eye contact correction to an automatic background remover, you need to check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.